There are no lying on the floor in the cardiac unit, and they are covered with some blankets in order to avoid hypothermia. These uh, babies should have been, they, they should have been in the incub incubators, of course, and they are surrounded by Israeli uh, armed forces who are shooting at the hospital. We learned this morning, snipers were shooting through the windows and into the staff. Uh, we also uh, learned that one nurse was killed in the neonatal ICU. Honestly, today when I spoke with the Red Cross, literally they told me that they have suspended their operations in Gaza and they have no news about Mira and the hub. No news at all. I don't know whether they are all right or not. Honestly, this is something you cannot describe when you reach to such a point where you can't provide safety to your newborn children. The staff of the Shifa Hospital has requested that tomorrow we will help the babies in the pediatric department to get to a safer hospital. כוחות צה"ל השלימו את קיטור העיר עזה, הם פועלים בלב העיר, הם בפאתי בית החולים שיפא, הם חיסלו אלפי מחבלים, כולל מפקדים בכירים ורבי מרצחים שהיו בין אלה שהובילו את הטבח הנורא הזה באותה... שבת ארורה של השבעה באוקטובר. I'm very fearful that the, there is an ongoing massacre which will not be covered and we will not be able to see it. But in Al-Shifa, desperate situation, no oxygen, no food, no water, and of course, absolutely no security for patients and staff. Is this a genocide in slow motion? The answer is yes. This has been going on for four weeks now. People are dying, hour by hour. People are starving, people are thirsting in 2023. When is this going to stop?